My name is Olivia, and I am a housewife who lives with my husband, Liam, and our beautiful daughter Emily. Emily is energetic every day, even on hot and cold days. It's Liam's routine to go to a park and play with Emily on his day off, because he thinks it's also good exercise. That's why I was surprised to see Emily running so fast. Her kindergarten teacher recently told me she runs much faster. You know, Stephen told me that I can run faster if I swing my arms wider. He also told me that if I move my legs as fast as my arms, like baba baba ba, ba, ba I can run faster. Ha ha ha! I saw your legs were exactly like baba baba ba, ba when you ran. I had to practice during playtime in kindergarten to get that technique. Oh, did you? You are a hard worker. This is my husband, Liam, and my daughter, Emily. Our family was always so happy and cheerful. One day, Emily and I were spending time together at home when suddenly my mother-in-law called me. Hello, Olivia, what are you doing? Oh, hi, I was just reading a storybook with Emily. But I was just about to start preparing dinner. Oh, so you're not busy then, why don't you come over to my house? Well, but... If you're not busy, you should at least consider coming and letting me see my grandchildren. This is my mother-in-law. I was confused when she said that because we had no appointment to go to her place that day. Besides, she will force me to do housework if I go there. To be honest, I was annoyed when she called me. Hello? Are you listening? Oh, hi. I am. I'm saying that if you're free, you should come over and let me see my grandchildren. Well, yes. But I just visited the other day. Emily has been playing a lot lately, so I thought it would be nice to spend some relaxing time. OMG. Stop making excuses, who do you think I am? I am your mother-in-law. I know you are not busy, so come over now, okay? No, but today is. What? Hello? She hung up again. My mother-in-law hung up after telling me to come over, I couldn't refuse, and went to her place. As I expected, I was exhausted after being complained about small things by her when Emily wasn't there. That night. Mommy? You look like you have exhausted written all over your face. Are you tired? Are you okay? Your face looks like a typical example of an exhausted face. Oh no! Can you see it? I'm totally fine. Look! I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry I made you worry me. You are such a sweet girl. Thanks, Liam, I'm just a little tired from doing something I'm not used to. Apparently, my tiredness was all over my face. I realized that this was a bad idea to listen to her and made up my mind to live my life as usual. I decided, from now on, no matter what she says to me, I would fake that I listened to her. Another day. That day she suddenly came to my house without any notice. I'm sorry to bother you. OMG! You didn't tell me that you were coming, what's wrong? Olivia, you had lunch with your friend the other day didn't you? Liam works hard every day while you are having an elegant and expensive lunch. How can you be so arrogant? What are you thinking? It was just that. It had been a while since I'd had lunch with friends. Besides, this restaurant is very popular because you can have a delicious lunch. And it had been a while since I went out. How can you call me arrogant only for $5 lunch? What an excuse, Olivia, you always make excuses like that. Can't you ever say something that makes sense to me? You never learn, Olivia. Well, I guess I'm sorry. I don't know what kind of education you got from your parents. It's a mystery how you can become a person like you. I have no doubt that your parents are the same kind. Oh no, my parents raised me with love and respect. Please do not say about them like that. Don't talk back to me. You. This annoying bitch. I can't take it anymore. Here. Sign this right now. This is? What? This is divorce papers, isn't it? 
I want you to divorce Liam, give Liam custody of Emily, and get out of my house. Get out of my house. Liam doesn't need you. You are just baggage. Do you understand? You don't have to talk like that. Just sign the papers. I will talk to Liam. Got it? With that, my mother-in-law forcibly handed me the divorce papers and left immediately. I thought that was the only thing I could do, so I immediately talked to Liam. Liam was furious about this and contacted someone. And he told me about some plan, and I decided to go for it. A few days later. Hello, Olivia? You already signed the divorce papers, didn't you? I already did. What's wrong with it? Then get them over here as soon as possible. You're always so slow in everything you do. You really are a woman who can't do anything without being told. I think it's you. What? What did you just say? Oh yeah, you're divorcing now, so you're just going to complain about everything now and then, aren't you? Well, I don't really care, though. Hey! Don't you think you're being too rude with that attitude? I can't take it anymore. I'm coming over right now. Are you coming now? Yes. Oh, I don't need any tea cakes or anything like that, so don't worry about it. Of course you don't. You're being so rude. That's enough. I'm coming now, wait for me. Ha, huh, you're so quick to hang up the phone as always. Mom, what's wrong? Nothing, Grandma has something to do, and she's coming over now. So, can you go upstairs and play in your room? Sure, then I'll play princess with a teddy bear. Emily went upstairs to her room. A little while later, her mother-in-law came to our house. See? I came as I said. Now give me the divorce papers. Okay, these are the completed divorce papers. Well, now I can finally say goodbye to you. You spent a lot of Liam's salary with your friends. You can't live like that anymore. You suck. That's my line. Take a good look at these divorce papers. Oh, what? Are you telling me that I should check them out to make sure there are no mistakes? OMG! It has my husband's name on it, not Liam's. Hey Olivia, what do you mean? Are you kidding me? My name is on it, that's what it means. I'm getting a divorce from you, that's why my name is on it. Why are you here? You were supposed to be out with your friends. And what do you mean, you're getting a divorce? Are you kidding me? I'm tired of your selfishness. I feel like I live shorter than it's supposed to be. What are you talking about now? We've been supporting each other for years. We've been supporting each other for so many years? Don't be stupid. I was just too patient with you for a long time. Your husband told me about you. I heard that you've always been a big spender and spent a lot of money. What do you mean by a big spender? I heard that you often go to expensive restaurants with your friends. Even a housewife needs to relax once in a while, that's fine. Olivia, you're a housewife too, you understand that, right? What are you talking about? You eat out five days a week. But you complain about Olivia's five dollars lunch. Don't be kidding with me! My mother-in-law had been spending my father-in-law's salary like she had a money tree for a long time. When her husband told her to divorce her because of this, she was like, You misunderstood because it is okay for me to go to expensive lunch. Because you are a well-paid man, and we live a good life as we deserve. But not Olivia. I feel sorry for Liam, who works so hard while Olivia is having expensive lunch with his money. Whenever I go out for lunch with my friends, I always ask him first. I never went out without telling him. Whenever I had the idea of going out with friends during the day, I talked to Liam before I said yes to them. I wonder if that's really true. I'm not like you, I don't tell stupid lies. Did you just say stupid? I don't know what you think you're saying. I can't believe you have been living in luxury for so many years. I feel sorry for him. Don't you dare try to involve with my family's finances. 
You have complained a lot to me about housework. But I heard that your husband is the one who actually does the housework. You've been nagging me about this. You've just been bossing me around. That's not true. I do all the housework too. I do the cleaning, the laundry, the cooking, the tidying up. If you really do it, then tell me how you do it. I just do it properly when you are not around. Didn't you realize sometimes the whole house is sparkling clean? You just force me to do everything. Whenever I visited you, you always made me do the housework. Oh no, I didn't do that. I know you did. You're a messy person. There's no way you'd be so meticulous about cleaning. Even the kitchen was spotless. So I always thought Olivia cleaned it for you. In fact, she took credit for the chores she forced me to do. When she found out that her husband knew everything from the beginning. It doesn't matter who does it. In general, you know. Olivia is my daughter-in-law, so it's normal for her to clean our house. I'm taking care of my wife, who can't do anything, so I should be appreciated. No! It's you who can't do anything. You don't deserve to look down on my parents. Well, Liam has a very annoying wife. But now you understand Olivia better, don't you? So, Olivia, divorce Liam right now, as I said. Divorce who? Liam, I didn't know that you were here. Of course I'm here, it's Sunday. You know, Liam, Olivia is a hell of a wife. You are still young, and I don't think you can tell the difference, so I'm telling you. If you don't divorce her now, you'll regret it later, okay? It's you who is a terrible wife. If we stay married, I will regret it. That's why I'm divorcing you. Shut up. I'm talking to Liam. Don't interrupt us. Liam, you have always been a good boy. You're going to divorce Olivia, aren't you, just like I said? No, I'm not. What makes me divorce Olivia? She does a great job every day with the housework, with Emily, with the neighbors, etc. Liam. How dare you tell me back like this? She only pretends to do everything right when you are not around. Who would waste time like this? You have always been bullying Olivia in the first place. You called Olivia and made her do the housework and then complain about it. You gotta be kidding me. When Liam finds out that his mother has been bullying his wife. Don't call me a bully. I was just teaching her housework as a senior housewife. If I don't do this for her, she will become your baggage. To prevent that, I taught her well. What are you talking about? Olivia is too good for me. She even helped with the housework since she was a kid, and her mother taught her a lot. That's why she doesn't need you to teach her anything. Liam is right. She has been mature since the first time I met her. And I've never seen a mess in your house while I've come to visit your place when you suddenly invite me. I'm sure Emily saw that in her too. I bet that's why she puts her toys away by herself. Why you guys have been taking Olivia's side? You do this just because she's young and a little pretty. I wonder why men have soft spots for the type of women. How can I explain better? Don't know. I didn't think you were that twisted. I'm not twisted. I'm the only one who says the right thing here. I'm the one who wants to know to explain better. Don't be ridiculous. Mom, except you're wrong for a minute. No, I didn't say anything wrong. So you're not going to change the way you live? Oh no, Liam, there is nothing for me to change. Oh, I get it. I'm just going to cut my mother out of my life. There is no way that I'm going to have a relationship with such a selfish person for the rest of my life. She looked like she was in a little shock for a moment. But... She didn't seem to believe what Liam said. You don't have to be like your father, Liam. Liam is serious about it. Oh, why? We've decided to move in with your husband, so we're moving out. Oh, but I'm not going to tell you where we move. Living together? Why didn't you tell me earlier you have my room too, right? Olivia, I always thought you were a very considerate wife. We don't have a room for you. Grandma. Oh, Emily, have you come to help your grandmother? You're so kind. No, 
I just came to get more juice. Besides, we've already decided that the four of us will live in the new house. Oh no! That's because you always tell mom to do this and that. Grandma, you just talk and never do anything about it. Children watch what adults do, you know. Oh, that was not like it seemed. What was not? You looked so happy when you were complaining about what I do. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It's creepy to have fun bullying others. You said mom was moving too slowly. Why don't you help her? You could have finished faster if you worked together, but you didn't help at all. Look, Emily remembers your behavior. This is such a bad influence on her. I'm not kidding. I'm going to cut you off once and for all. Please sign the divorce papers now. Well, wait a minute. I can't. I hate grandma who doesn't take good care of mom and grandpa. Oh, Emily. That's it. You're on your own now. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Take care. My mother-in-law was divorced from her husband. She treated her neighbors with arrogance and isolated herself completely. She started to work part-time to make a living, but even there, she was rejected because of the neighbors. On top of that, there is a person who is my friend's in-laws, and she found out about her bullied me. The friends she used to hang out with also distanced from her as soon as they found out that she no longer had any financial resources. This is the result of being a big spender with husband's money. So she lost her happy life with her family, she lived a lonely and miserable life instead. Now we are. Here is your coffee. Oh, thank you so much, Olivia. You're welcome. Here is the juice for you, Emily. Thank you. Hey, Olivia. I was just talking to Dad. Maybe having dinner all together tonight? I found a great restaurant about a 10-minute drive away. I hear it's a great place to take the kids. Really? Then let's have dinner there tonight. Yay! We're all going to dinner. I'm looking forward to it. Life with the father-in-law is going well, and sometimes he even picks Emily up from kindergarten. The new house is comfortable and not too far away, so Emily continues to go to the same kindergarten as before. Emily is very energetic, but he never seems to get tired of playing with her. In fact, he is physically fit because he usually goes to the gym. So, when they go to the park, he runs around with Emily more than Liam does. I am sure Liam had a lot of fun with his father when he was a little boy. Now that he is a father, he plays with Emily a lot. I am grateful for the kindness that has been passed down between father and son, and as a housewife, I will try to protect the happiness of my gentle family.